Hello everyone and welcome to my list of top 5 Nintendo controllers as chosen by me. I don't have a long introduction to bore you with, so let's just get into it, shall we? Number 5. The NES Controller The NES was Nintendo's first homemade gaming console. With it came a very simplistic controller that consisted of the start, select, A and B buttons, and the D-pad. The controller was horizontal and when held allowed for your fingers to be able to reach the buttons without much effort. For such a simplistic design, the NES controller really made gaming a treat and an enjoyable experience. Number 4 The SNES Controller With the SNES being the superior console to the NES, it's only fair that it receives the very controller. The SNES Controller added the X, Y, and shoulder button. The SNES controls of America differ from the ones of the Japanese and power regions in that the X and Y buttons are concave, while the A and B buttons are convex. That way you want to look down and see which button you're pressing. This design scheme was very smart on Nintendo, and looking back now, I find it to be a great controller and has a great feel to it when playing games. Number 3 The Wavebird Wireless Controller GameCube was a great console that had great games. The GameCube controller was a great controller. Well, if I wanted to play my GameCube games anywhere, I just build a portable GameCube. Uh, I can't do that, so I'll just have to sell on the Wavebird Wireless Controller. Personally, I prefer this controller over the original one, not only because it's wireless, but because it's bigger, which I enjoy. The Wavebird controller had C stick, which wasn't used in too many games. There was also a joystick and a D pad, which means you could play games with either of them. There was also a Z button that was near the right shoulder button. The Wavebird also operates on one of 16 available channels. You just set the channel on the controller and then set the appropriate channel on the receiver. While there are main buttons on the waiver, it never felt cluttered and made gaming that much better. Number 2 Wii Mo. When the Wii was released, it came with a controller that really changed the way most people look at gaming. The Wii Mo was a controller that confused people as it didn't look like a controller in a traditional sense. The controller can be used horizontally and vertically depending on the game. The Wii Mo has the A and B buttons but also has plus and minus buttons which act as start and select respectively. It also had the numbers 1 and 2 as buttons. Crazy, right? There was also a home button that took you to the Wii menu. What also made the Wii Mo interesting was its use of motion sensing. This feature allowed the player to interact with the game by use of certain gestures. The Wii Mo was a breath of fresh air in the gaming industry and really great controller with games that utilizes its features in creative and fun ways. And number 1, the Wii U Gamepad Controller. The Wii U Gamepad controller breaks free of the traditional barriers of how a controller should look. The Gamepad has a 6.2 inch screen with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that has a touch screen. It also has the traditional button controls and two analog sticks. The Gamepad has motion controls, a microphone, a camera, speakers, and a TV control button. Slap on a disk drive and bam, you've got a portable console. The LCD screen can be used in a variety of ways. It can be used as a touchscreen controller. You can play Wii U games on without the use of a TV. You can use it as a second screen, and you can even use it to play Wii games, although they do require a Wii remote. You can even watch Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Prime Videos, YouTube, and Twitch by using the gamepad in its browser. With the Wii U, you can play games with up to five people if the game allows it, which creates all sorts of fun times with your friends and family. The Wii U Gamepad opens a whole new window of creativity for games that Nintendo is exploring. With such creativity and useful features that the Wii U Gamepad has incorporated into gaming, it deserves the number one spot on my list as it continues to explore new features that can be thought of by Nintendo. So those are my top 5 Nintendo controllers. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the list and your favorite Nintendo controllers. If you want to see videos similar to this one, subscribe as I am working on them as I speak. Also, share to your favorite social media sites like Facebook and Twitter, and thanks for watching.